Hi, I'm Jay Grunke from The Balanced Runner and The Balanced Runner UK. We help runners improve their form and performance using the Feldenkrais method of movement education. And a lot of our clients have questions about what they should be doing with their hands when they run. And you may as well, I bet that's why you're watching this video. And the true answer is that any, any sense of tension or problem that you have with your hands when you run or confusion is probably a reflection of mechanics that are not quite right in your torso. Because if your shoulders, your upper body, your core muscles and your pelvis are moving properly when you run, usually the hands uh, don't have any excess tension and are well positioned. However, um, it still helps to know what you should be doing. And if you take the wrong advice, you can actually use your hands to throw off your core. So let's look at what the hands really should be doing when you run. The answer is this. A soft fist. You may have read that your hands should be in a soft fist. That's right. I can see through the hole in my hand. It's not clenched. And what a soft fist really means is that there's no tension whatsoever in the hand. So uh, there's, there can be um, a mistaken idea that uh, it takes effort to close your hand at all and that a relaxed hand is like this, but actually if you try it yourself you see it actually takes some work to open your hand all the way. A completely relaxed hand with a wrist in a neutral alignment uh, is softly curled and not only the fingers but from the palm in fact. And sometimes even just knowing that your palm and not your finger, just only your fingers are involved in this can also help you find the, the um, easy, well-coordinated way to use your hand. Of course, we care whether it's right, but you, uh, if you get it right by faking it and putting your body into a position, it's not the same as having it be right because it results from healthy mechanics through your whole body. But in any case, so uh, when the, I said when the wrist is in a neutral position, the hand softly curls, and a neutral position is this. So um, in Tai Chi, this would be called a beauteous wrist. My, my uh, lower arm and my hand make a Y, or this is the um, bottom of the Y, and um, the width of my hand goes like this. So if you look at it from the other side, you can see it's a, it gets it distorted a little bit by turning like this, but I think you get the idea here, and then this, um, both sides of my hand go outward. So it's not that one is straight and in line with the forearm. Either of those options is a bent wrist. In fact, the bones of the lower arm point right into this yoke between the thumb and the forefinger. So, um, if your wrist is bent this way, the fingers fall open. And that's not because I open my hand. I didn't use any muscular effort at all. My hand is still completely passive. But the uh, tendons that run across the wrist are stretched, and so that lifts the fingers open when the wrist is bent like this. So if you find that your hands tend to be open, it's probably that your wrists are bent when you run. Uh, if it's that your hands are open by accident and not intentionally. Um, if you bend your wrist the other way, the hand closes a bit extra, and that's because these tendons are being stretched again, completely passive. Um, a neutral wrist gives you a neutral hand. So that's all well and good when your forearm is upright, but we of course don't run like this. We run with our arms down as a distance runners, and obviously this is a video for distance runners, not for sprinters. Um, so what causes your wrist to bend when your arms are in a running position is rotation of the forearm. You have two bones in your forearms, your ulna and your radius, so that it can, your forearms can perform a rotating motion without you having to move the rest of your arm at all. It lets us manipulate things. And uh, if your uh, lower arm is rotated so that the wrist face and the palm face downward, gravity will pull your hand down unless you put a lot of tension in uh, these muscles, which is not going to be too comfortable. Um, gravity will pull your hand down and thus open and you lose all the strength in your back when you run. If you rotate your arm the other way, your hand gets pulled back a bit. This is not too common in running, though there are people who do it. It's much more common to see this, and particularly from triathletes who are used to turning their wrist this direction for riding a bike. So triathletes, you have to really think about turning your wrists this way when you switch from the bike to the run. So um, that's the primary uh, 
factor that's going to determine whether your wrist is bent and thus what happens to your hand when it's completely passive and there's no tension in it. However, uh, doing things with your shoulders and your upper body can also impact your forearm and your wrist. If you squeeze your elbows to your side, you may actually find that you do this to try and push your elbows in. If you bend your wrists out, it pushes your elbows in. Um, so that's going to create a tremendous, like even my breathing just grew restricted from getting myself into this position. That's going to create a tremendous amount of tension in your running. And ten extra tension is inefficient uh, and uncomfortable and no fun. Uh, if you bend your wrists like this, sometimes people do this uh, all and also squeeze their arms in. Or sometimes like this, then it pushes the elbows out, which is what it would tend to do if you don't make the extra effort to then do this. Um, and it makes you push your chest back and so then you're running like this. I don't think I need to tell you that's no good. A neutral wrist causes the elbows, uh, space between the elbows and the sides and a natural diagonal motion of the arms. And if you would like to learn more about that, please look at our other videos on our YouTube channel where I explain this more fully. Uh, so those are the basics. Now the main benefits of having a, a neutral wrist alignment and a soft fist when you run are that it makes your arm a shorter pendulum, which makes it lighter, easier, and faster to swing. And uh, so uh, sprinters do this because the wind resistance of a soft fist is too costly at the speeds that they're running. But at distance running speeds or recreational running speeds, the effort of holding your hand open is too costly for you to sustain the distance that you're, that you're intending to run. And so this is the right choice. Um, so a shorter pendulum is more efficient running. And so even trying to open your hands a little bit, that's going to really cost you, especially over marathon distance. Um, again, because opening your hand or clenching your fist or bending your wrists uh, requires you to tense extra muscles and impacts the mechanics of your upper body and thus core and pelvis and legs. Um, your running will be less healthy and less efficient and less enjoyable. So it's really quite a large issue. And hopefully this tip, these tips are enough to help you begin to get a handle on it, um, so to speak. But uh, reach out to us if you need more help than this. It probably is the case that you have other movement habits that are putting your arms, your shoulders, your wrists in a position where you have excess tension in your hands. So, uh, there's plenty more information on our websites, balancedrunner.com and balancedrunner.co.uk. There is a ton of information I regularly post on Facebook at The Balanced Runner, so please like us there and follow me on Twitter at Jake Runke, and all of that information is in the video details below. And of course, please watch the rest of our videos on our YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe.